In this Maya tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use 3D Paint on more complex objects, such as this table. Before, we did it on just a simple sphere. This table has more polygons, and we need to have a UV mesh, plus a material assigned, plus a texture file to begin 3D painting. The first thing we need to do is have a UV map. To do that, change your workspace to the UV editing workspace. By default, it will have a UV map based on the primitive that was used. I made this table out of a simple cube, so it has half of the cube left. We need to create a new map. There's a couple different ways. You can simply go to Create Automatic, and in this case, it does a pretty good job of laying out the table with all its pieces in the zero to one UV space. In some respects, if you're going to use 3D paint, this is perfect. You could also stitch these together, you could use a normal base projection and then automatically cut and sew. For example, if I go create normal based, it will create everything based on the normal projection of the pieces. Then I can select the UV shell, go to cut and sew, auto seams. It will create auto seams, select the shell again, modify, and then unfold. And it'll unfold it like this. Unfortunately, this is not inside the zero to one space and to use 3D paint, we need to do that. So then you could highlight this, go to your UV toolkit, then in the unfold menu, you can optimize it to straighten out the different pieces and then select the shell, go to modify, normalize, make sure you have collectively set and preserve aspect ratio, click apply and close. It'll be in the zero to one space. You could also make a normal base projection and then cut your own seams if you don't like the auto projection. For example, you could cut out these legs individually and have a really nice projection. I'm gonna go back, create automatic. I think this makes a lot of sense. Sure, I could stitch these layers together to make it easier to texture by hand, uh, but if I'm going to be texturing with a 3D paint, that's not 100% necessary. Now I'm going to go to object mode and I'm going to 3D paint on top of this. To do that, we want to go to the rendering shelf at the top, then select the 3D paint brush. And in the tool settings, and you can get to tool settings by clicking the hammer at the top, we need to assign edit textures. Make sure you have a good size texture. Assign and edit the textures. And now we have a texture that we can just draw on. As you can see here, I pick pink, Make the opacity 100%, and if I draw on this table and I save my textures, you'll see that it automatically goes from UV to UV. So there's no need to stitch them together if you don't want to. This will work fine, and we can use all of our textures on this side. If you don't like this material, this is the default Lambert material, I can go to object mode, press Q, then I can right click, assign a new material, then I can click blend. Now I don't have a texture map. Now I need to assign a texture map, so I click the paintbrush, then I go to tool settings, and I click assign textures, assign edit textures. Now I have a texture map with the blend shader, so I can draw all over this. I can get my different brushes. For example, if I want to have a special brush, I can pick, let's see, uh, we'll do this thistle brush right here, and press OK and I can draw on it just like this. I can also use brush effects in a two-dimensional way. If I click here, we have all these different brush effects. So I can click, for example, fun, and I can draw with these different, different shapes. These can actually be made in 3D, uh, but we're just using them on top of here. So if I pick this laser glow, it's going to paint on top of this with laser glows. And it's just making two-dimensional textures. So if I save the textures, you'll see it over here. It is not the three-dimensional texture that would be created if we drew out inside our model area. So this is a great way to paint as well. And remember, you can add your texture maps to this. So hopefully this will help you quickly without worrying about exactly where the UVs are. Just do an automatic projection. It will likely work pretty well. If not, you can do a normal based and then cut the seams with the 3D cut and sew tool, and you'll be painting on your objects with custom textures in no time.